Uh, we're the first ones out here this morning, so yay, we're ready. And getting you ready as well, folks. Let me get you out the door right now. As you're leaving the house, temperatures are in the 70s. 76 degrees right now in Atlanta. You're at 70 degrees over in Carrollton. 73 in Gainesville. Up here, Clayton, we're near Clayton. 67 degrees. It's a bit cool up here, which is why I threw this little jacket on. I wasn't expecting to wear a jacket this morning, but yeah, it is a bit cool up here. Nine out of a possible 11 today on the bosometer. 92 degrees will be your forecast high temperature. We're looking at uh, partly sunny skies by this afternoon. Of course, we'll start off with that sunshine, but partly sunny skies will be this afternoon. Noon's call. Not much happening here in the southeast except till you get over toward the panhandle of Florida there. I got some showers there, but uh, other than that, we're sitting pretty, folks. Again, uh, a coast to coast great American total eclipse is what we're expecting. And along the path of totality, that 100% line, the thick white line, look at that. Today is the day, and you're looking at great conditions. Now, a little red just popped up there over toward Tennessee and parts of Kentucky. Uh, but again, we're expecting fair skies for the most part for Georgia. There will be a few clouds that pop up later on this afternoon, but I don't think it will take away too much from our sun viewing this afternoon. So we should be A-OK, -okay, folks. So get your glasses out, get ready to view that total eclipse, or depending on where you are, it could be a partial eclipse. Either way, it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime event for us all. We're looking at uh, fair skies again starting off this morning on the forecast track model. Less than a 10% chance for an isolated shower or two to pop up this afternoon. We'll do it all over again tomorrow, start you off with partly sunny skies, and then about a good 20 to 30% chance for the showers on Tuesday. Wednesday brings that better chance, folks. And then we'll be looking at skies clearing out as we head toward the end of the week. In fact, a couple double digits on the wisometer for the end of the week.